It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, Would you be mine? Would you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Hi there, neighbor. It is good to see you again. Hey, Joe. Well, look at that. Joan has been in the scripture again today. Wow. Joan is reading about our guy Abraham that we have been reading about for several weeks. This week, though, Abraham makes a big mistake. He tells a lie. He tells a weird and a dangerous lie. He tells Sarah, his wife, to tell King Abimelech that Sarah is just his sister. That is a weird lie, but it's a lie that puts Sarah in danger and that puts King Abimelech and all of his people in danger too. Yikes, Abraham. Have you ever told a lie or hurt someone and then tried not to do it again and did do it again? That's just what Abraham did. He had already told a lie just like this, and he knew it was wrong, but he did it twice. I know I've told lies that have hurt people, and even Pope Joan, she doesn't speak a language I understand, so she doesn't tell lies, but she has made a mistake that hurt herself and other people. One time on vacation, she licked a frog, and she had to go to the emergency room. Right, Joan? But here's the thing. God's love for us is unconditional. That means when we mess up, God still loves us. And God wants us to do better and to be better. Our God is a God of fresh starts. And to learn a little bit more about a fresh start, we need to bring in a special guest. My wife Lindsay is here to cut my hair. Let's go. Friends, my hair is out of control. It really needs a fresh start. So Lindsay is giving me a haircut. So while she works, let's chat. Have you ever needed a fresh start? Maybe you did something that hurt someone or told a lie like Abraham, and then you felt guilty Everyone needs a fresh start sometimes. Thankfully, God has promised us that we can always get a fresh start. We can pray and ask God to help us start over. We can apologize and try our best to do better. God wants us all to have a fresh start. Like the feeling you have when you get a fresh new haircut, fresh and clean and ready for a new day rid of all that keeps us from being our best selves. So friends, know this. If you are in need of a fresh start, God is just waiting to give you one. All you need to do is ask. Well, what do you think? I love it. I have a fresh start. Show him your, show him your head. 